Welcome to Dynamic Thriving Audio Blog, where we're very spiritual with a good dose of practicality in support of your life transformation. This is your host, Mary Ann Pack, spiritual medium, oracle for the many, and joy advocate. Today's audio blog is entitled Memory Broker for the Best ROI. What are some of the best feeling memories you hold? Do you think about them often? What triggers those memories? A song? A scent? A place? The taste of certain foods? A photo? Do these memories bring you the feeling of joy and happiness? When you replay them in your mind, do you still get the same feeling as when they happened? Feel-good memories are there to remind us that we are created to feel good. When we feel good, we are connected with our inner source, the who we are on the inside, at the core of our being. As a spiritual medium and coach, I guide clients to become the whole person they intended to be when they came into this life. Through our work together, clients recognize where they are now and create a vision of where they'd like to be. Closing the gap between the two is what we navigate during coaching. The closing of the gap is the process of becoming who they need to be to reach their vision. It's the process of becoming who. I have an acronym for who. The W stands for holy, The H stands for harmonized. The O stands for oneness of spirit, mind, body. So let's take each one of these. Holy. This means to remember who you really are by reconnecting the parts of you that have been banished to the closet or boxed up trauma and told not to shine. Remembering the parts of you that were told were too much, too zany, too whatever that displeased others. The shameful parts, the guilty parts, the parts that weren't professional enough, the parts that were too sensitive or soft. Becoming holy you is to remember all those beautiful parts into the wholeness of spirit, mind, body that you meant to live when you came into this life. Harmonized. This means to blend into the harmony of your spirit and the physical. Harmonizing with your inner being so that you can be whole. Acknowledging and understanding that your spirit is more of the real you than your flesh, blood, and bone body. Oneness. This means oneness with the eternal source energy. We are eternally one with all that is. We really cannot be separated ever We certainly can deny our oneness, but that doesn't make it true. When we recognize our position, we can realize our power. This requires that everyone on their quest for becoming more of who they are, who they intended to be in this life. But how do we do this? How do we become whole? We remember who we really are. We must understand we are not simply a physical body and mind. We are so much more than that. We are infinite intelligence, source energy, God, clothed in these physical bodies. God is not someone out there, outside of our physical body. We are God. We are infinite intelligence. We are source energy wrapped in a physical form. We are extensions of source energy. We are everything source is. So we are joy, love, appreciation, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, abundance, freedom, well-being, and prosperity. Our inner beings are vibrating at the frequency equivalent to the essence of source itself. That's pretty awesome to know. So how do we become who we are? The acronym for how is H, happiness, O, optimism, and W, wonder. 
Let's take each of these. Happiness. This is the purpose of our lives as we chose to come into this life. We knew we wanted to be happy and joy-filled. When we make our happiness our number one priority, it will change everything. We will allow others to be whatever they choose. We don't hold anyone responsible for our happiness because we know that doing so would be giving away our power. We know that our happiness is solely an inside job and that we can choose to be happy no matter what is happening around us. Optimism. This is having positive expectations. We look into the world and simply believe everything will work out for us. We know that if we see something or experience something that we don't like, we optimistically focus on the improvement we'd prefer rather than getting stuck in the problem. We have a hopeful, sunny attitude because we trust in the power of the process of life. Wonder. This is living in a spirit of curiosity, a zest for life, and interest in life. We take life with great awe and wonder. Wonder is living in a state of appreciation. We're always looking for the next amazing thing to learn, experience, and think about. Wonder focuses on the happiness of our lives and utilizes optimism to maintain our joy through the journey. This is the guidance I offer you as you engage in your quest for more of who you really are. I am a memory broker. I guide clients to decide what memories to invest in and which ones to trade off for a better return on investment, or ROI. Memories are great, at least the ones that feel good. But some memories don't feel good at all. They can also trigger our trauma. Remembering some memories is terrifying and can cause us great pain. So I help you sort out the ones that are most beneficial for you to invest in. Memories are to be used for the most profitable ROI. Their great value is to raise the quality of our vibrational output. We can always know which ones are the most valuable by how the way they make us feel. So what is absolutely the very best memory for everyone to remember? Remember who you really are. Yep, many of us have forgotten who we really are. We've forgotten that we are source energy in the flesh. We've forgotten that we are infinite intelligence and have access to the power that creates worlds. We came into the, this world knowing exactly who we were, but because of fears and forgetfulness of those around us in positions of authority and influence, they taught us to fear, doubt, and worry. The result of that indoctrination is that it clouds our memory of who we really are, right here, right now. When we remember that we are one with the source of all, we can also remember our essence. I heavily rely on remembering these attributes or the essence of who I am when I remember my hurtful past. When I remember something that didn't feel good or thing that brings me sadness or even anger when I remember it, that's when I can thank those memories because they brought me to who I am now. I recognize them for the value of showing me the contrast of life that I no longer want to live. And it helps me refocus on the life I truly desire. Then I begin affirming the essence of who I really am. I remind myself to focus on the ROI of I am statements. Here are a few that might resonate with you. I am unconditional love in the flesh. I am joy, peace, and hope. I am freedom, 
grace and well-being. I am well-being and all knowledge. I am prosperity and abundance. Even a minute or two of reciting and really leaning into what my essence feels like helps me to return to remembering who I really am. My vibration raises and I feel appreciation sweep through my spirit, mind, and body. It takes some practice for sure. I can't deny that not every time I say my affirmations do I really believe it. In those times, I utilize some bridging words to help the statements feel more true that I can believe. Some bridging words are beginning, becoming, learning, or aware. Here's how I might use these bridging words to help me believe my I am statements. I am beginning to remember that I am unconditional love in the flesh. I am becoming more aware that I am joy, peace, and hope. I am learning to accept my essence of freedom, grace, and well-being. See how these statements would be more believable when you're just not feeling it 100%? These are nice segues into being able to emphatically remember that this is truly who you are. These are your essence, not just nice attributes to aspire to. They really are who you are. It's simply a matter of remembering for a much better ROI. It's always about where you focus. It's always about choosing the right memories for the biggest ROI. That's why our thoughts matter. Our thoughts are what create our ROI. We can either choose to focus on thoughts that bring us a very poor return on investment and create more misery or we can choose our thoughts by their valuable ROI. If you need a memory broker, I'm here to help. Reach out to me today for the best investment you'll ever make, you and the life you want to live. If this post has resonated with you, please like, comment, and be sure to subscribe to this podcast. This really helps my work expand and touch more lives with joy. Thanks in advance. To your chosen ROI, this is Mary Ann Pack, your spiritual medium, oracle, and memory broker. P.S. I understand not everyone is a match to coach with me, and that's why I love featuring other coaches and amazing spiritual guides on this dynamic, thriving podcast. I love highlighting other coaches that are heart centered transformational leaders in their field. I'd love it so much. I loved it so much that I started offering my coaching concierge consultations. Yes, it will help match you with the perfect coach for this season of your life. No matter where you are on your transformational journey and what you'd love to accomplish during coaching, I have coaches that may be the perfect match. No more stress in finding the right coach for you. No wasting time, energy, or money. If you would like more information, you may go to my website, maryannpack.com, and on the front page, you will find the Coaching Concierge Session to find out more information.